Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for uh, the Tower of God, uh, Tower of God chapter 359 or season 2 episode 279, and uh, yeah, let's get into reading. I guess we just split up last chapter into the cold land and sweet castle, and uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> let's see what happens. Let's get into reading. So starting off, we got Barrow Barrow here. Uh, it It's too strong. How are we supposed to beat that or beat the villain in there. This quest is too hard. Big Breeder. Hee <laughs> hee. Well then. Big Breeder enemy. Okay, we saw all this last chapter. I'll tell you how to beat this quest. A hint? Really? That's right. My hint is the ground. If you can't destroy the pillar, destroy the ground that supports the pillar. Then, after losing the ground that supported it, the pillar will tilt. And once the pillar tilts and falls to the ground, all you have to do is defeat the champion inside it. Wow, that's a genius idea, unless falling over doesn't break it, but either way, wow, that's a genius idea. Thank you, Big Breeder. Hee hee hee, I'm glad it was helpful. Now, hurry up and knock down the pillar to defeat the champion villain. Right. Okay, I'll train Kunedwan to. We see a uh, bombs group running. Okay, are those villains? Looks like there was a quest here. That means, yes, your companions must be around here somewhere. Could that sound that we heard before? Let's hurry. And then, of course, Bong Bong Driver. Andrasi activating it. Strong Gale, says uh, Irude. Pushing the tower over, it looks like. Or trying to. Blowing the earth away from beneath it. Hmm, it's deeper than I thought. This won't be enough, says Barrow. Step aside, I'll try making it a bit stronger. Ah, okay. For some reason, I feel more motivated since I got here. Hi, Gale. This part is my job. Okay. I, I'm just candy and sleepyhead. I'm just Irude. I'm really wondering what her uh, purpose is. You know, I had like, I mean, I had guessed it a bunch that she was working for the Eurasia family, but, you know, still, still kind of mysterious. We don't know. What are they doing, Skoon? Is that... Big Breeder, says Yuansung. What? Big Breeder, really? Yes, I've met him before. It looks like he's in the middle of a grand quest. Then we should stop him right now, says Bomb. I'll be right back. No, don't. <laughs> Just Bomb, let me handle this real quick. If you charge over there right now, there's no way for you to beat the Big Breeder. Right now, the wisest thing would be to disrupt the quest without getting caught by the Big Breeder says uh, Kuhn. And uh, Kuhn and Yuan Sung. If you delay the grand quest as much as possible, well we beat our quest first without the big breeder noticing, it would solve everything. Okay. That actually makes a lot of sense. Ah, says Bomb. These two suit each other better than I expected, he thinks. Then what should we do? For now, let's split into teams. Bomb and I will beat the quest while Andrasi and Kuhn disrupt them. Bomb, your gauge is still full, so you'll be able to proceed with the grand quest. Hmm, how about I go with Bomb and you go with Andrasi to disrupt them? Again though, shouldn't all this disrupting stuff and taking the real grand quest, shouldn't that make their sworn enemies come in in droves? Shouldn't the sworn enemy Bomb be back by now if his gauge is full? Like, shouldn't he be constantly respawning and hounding him down? Or what about Kuhn's sworn enemy, or Yuan Sung's, or even, uh, well, Rax is kind of trapped in that puddle of water, but you, you'd figure there'd be some way for it to get back to him. Uh, we already know the story with Andrasis, but it just seems weird that we were introduced to the whole sworn enemy concept, and then except for the bomb clone at the beginning, we haven't really done anything with it. So, uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird the way it's being handled. Either way, moving along. What are you being picking, picky for? Are you a little kid? 
I'm not being picky, I just don't want to go with her, says uh, Coon pointing over. What about me? I don't get along with that stubborn princess at all. I don't think I'll get along with her very well either, <laughs> neither one want Androssi. You should be trying to rise to my level, you losers, and she kicks both of them. Uh, that's great. I guess I was wrong. Those three really don't get along well. Thinks a uh, bomb still just staring at them. That's great. I love how similar Kun and Yuan Sung are. And how it's like a common thing that nobody ever likes Androsi. They always think she's too much. I'm gonna go beat the quest with Bomb. Got it? She says. Yes. And both of them on their knees. Hey, big eyed turtle. Why are you leaving me out of this too? You can't ignore your leader just because I was gone for a bit. Don't call me Big Eyed Turtle or I'll turn you into a bag. You just stay back and guard us from a distance. You're a spear bear. Don't you dare pop out and get your butt kicked again like usual. I'll kill you. She's terrifying. Sh sure, he says. <laughs> That's sad. Get your butt kicked again like usual. It's sad. Why does Rack have to get his ass kicked every arc? <laughs> it really makes him feel uh, super kind of weak. <laughs> that one hit too hard, Androsi. Even as a reader, that one hit too hard. Kun and Yu Hansun, Quest Disruption Team. Uh, rumble, rumble, rumble. Kerr, rumble. Hmm? What are they doing? I have a rough idea of what type of quest this is, says Yu Hansun. I think they have to defeat the villain inside there. They must be trying to dig out the ground under the pillar, or under it, because they can't destroy or approach the pillar itself. What if we reinforce the ground with Shinsu, so they can't just dig it out anymore? That's impossible. The big breeder would notice. What if we secretly contact our companions? Of course we'd get caught. Hyun-sung. <laughs> hmm. And Kun looks up. Doesn't the top part look like it could be, or er, it could be removed if we turn it? Oh, okay. Bom and Androsi, Grand Quest team. This should be a good spot. Yeah? Come out Grand Quest. And then they activate it. And it reminds me of... This drawing, it looks like, what is it? Was he called Ankylomon? From, uh... Or Drillmon? Something like that. From Digimon, way back in the day. What's this? He looks like that, because he has, like, the little ball weapon thing. And he has the spiked back and tail. Yeah, he looks like some dinosaur armadillo creature. Sure looks bizarre. There's not er, much time, so let's hurry up and beat it. So they summon the thing. Okay. Doesn't look all that menacing, to be fair. I mean, it looks cool. I like the design and all, but I mean, we've seen just random monster things that are much bigger get their asses kicked by, uh by the main characters. But either way, looks vicious, says Androsi. Okay. Let's see. Starts uh, swinging at bomb, bombs rushing in. Okay. He moves past it, and avoiding the attack using blue war. Activating the bongs of Shinsu and attacking from the back. The hidden stage Sachi's team. Oh yay, Sachi's team. That's a massive ice cream cone. Hey, what are we supposed to do now? Should we beat the quest like in that town before? Dragon, dragon! Ha! Ah, says Boro. <gasps> quest scroll monster dragon. What's that? Is that the guy who gave us the quest? He looks a bit different. That is correct, dragon. Please choose the quest that you want, dragon. And it's <laughs> just a dragon with a bunch of scrolls. H hold on, the, there's something we need to do, do before starting the qu quest. C could you lift me up onto that gi gigantic cone? Of course, says Sachi. So, uh, Sachi lifts Boro up using the thornbush path. Okay. Alright, and he stands on top of the straw. I am Batis. Are you l listening? I have c come to d deliver a message from Yu Han Sung. 
What is he doing? Says Moro. As promised, I f found someone who can make your w wish come true, e Edwan. I h hope you will h help us fight the b big breeder who rules this place and c clear the path to King Zahard. Join us and help us f fight the data of the b big, breather, big breeder and c King, Jah King Zahard. Lord Kunedwan. So that's what he's saying. What should we do, Father? Yo, Father, is that, um... Ah, uh, what's his face? Maybe that, maybe that's the one. Wasn't there a mysterious coon brother that saved them at the train that time, or that stopped the train from moving while they could get on it? That we don't know who it was. Maybe it's him, or maybe it's Hashling. It doesn't really look like Hashling, though. It looks maybe too old to be him, because this should be a younger version of somebody. It's pretty cool though that one of his sons has a version there too. Ugh, that arrogant fool. Does he really intend to keep his promise? Says, uh, Edwan. Spitting out the great pits. Bring them to this stage. Looks like it's time to fight, er, looks like the time to fight is approaching. Okay. Awesome. God, I just barely scrolled down and saw the top comment. Jeez, the comments are cancer in the, long, in the uh, Tower of God um, chapters. Like, I think it's mostly the comments where people are like, oh, I can write something about hating Rachel, I'll get a bunch of likes. And it just feels like there's no actual discussion of the chapter, it's just people trying to see how many likes they can get from writing I hate Rachel. So, uh, yeah, no real thought or discussion. But, um, yeah, either way, I kind of like this for Kun Edwan because it seems like he wants to fight against Zahard. Maybe he thinks that the dad of Zahard became a tyrant and he doesn't like that. Or it could possibly just be that he has sort of a, um, a rivalry style relationship and he wants to beat Zahard. So, uh, interesting to note that he has some, uh, motives here that he's going to be joining in the fight too. He's not just going to be helping him move helping Bomb's team move along. I also like the way that um, they set up the thing where they're like, we can't really fight this big breeder, so what's best for us is to uh, pass the test while we try to stop them from passing the test. And even unscrewing the thing like Kuhn mentioned, I have no clue like how they're going to stop uh, Barrow and Irure from passing without the big breeder noticing. I like, I can't think of a way that that makes sense. So, uh, it'll be cool to see what happens there. But either way, we'll review it tomorrow like usual. So, until then, like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of um, this week's chapter, what you thought of my first thousand reaction to it. Uh, subscribe if you want, of course. For more Tower of God, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. And if you want to link to our Discord server, just ask and I'll give you one. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.